aiming to balance pest control effectiveness with environmental sustainability in combating transboundary pests, IGAD countries are now embracing digital technologies for early detection and timely warnings. Addressing the press after an intergovernmental authority on development ministerial meeting held in Nairobi today, Moses Mwesigwa, Eastern Africa Director for Desert Locust Control Organization, emphasized that early action can reduce harmful chemical use. Reflecting on the last locust outbreak, chemical treatment had severe environmental impacts, including on beekeeping. Here is more on the same. In joint efforts aimed at combating the growing challenge of transboundary pests, countries within the IGAD region are increasingly turning to digital technologies by building digital capacity. These nations aim to improve early detection and provide timely warnings to mitigate the impacts of these pests. Capacity is the most important factor. We are where we are because of our capacity. Uh, so we, we have to improve our capacity, we have to enhance our institutional capacity, not only institutional capacity, uh, even individual capacity. Uh, our knowledge, regulations, and how these regulations are uh, enforced. So uh, the technology that we are using, so we need to improve the technologies. We, used to, we need to use drones, uh, satellite data, and other uh, category, uh, facilities and techniques, like artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning. So we will be able to predict what's coming uh, more accurately than we are doing now. According to Moses Moesi, the East Africa Director for Desert Locust Control Organization, early warning and early action will help reduce the use of chemicals, which most of the time has a ripple effect to the environment. So what we try to do with these projects is that we address the problem before it escalates. Because once you do early warning and early action, then you avoid use of, for example, these chemicals in other countries of invasion. Because in early action, for example in Somalia, we are using biopesticides. Biopesticides are friendly. They have no serious environmental impacts on, on both humans and animals. Reflecting on recent experiences, the Igad region has learned valuable lessons during the last desert locust outbreak. The reliance on chemical treatments to control locusts had several unintended environmental consequences. Among those affected were beekeepers, whose apiaries suffered due to the chemicals, leading to a decline in honey production. This highlighted the need for more sustainable and environmental friendly pest control methods. By adopting these innovative technologies, the Igad region is setting a new standard for combating transboundary pests, ensuring food security and protecting the livelihoods of his communities. Hilary Kabila, GBS News, Nairobi.